Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from all ages, this is Chris of the Next Generation. I'm here bringing you some more Simply Smashing. Today we're going through some classic creations, and today I'm going to be making uh, something a little bit different. I'm actually taking a 3D world and trying to make it 2D here. Uh, this is the first time I've tried this. But here we go. I'm going to take the... I'm actually going to do a Splatoon-themed um, stage today. I'm going to take the center point and buildings on the side of the newest DLC map for Splatoon called Flounder Heights. Now you guys can see on the screen right now, Flounder Heights consists of these two buildings right here in the middle. There is a grate there where you can drop through to the floor below. There are a couple of doorways there that come out a little bit down there, so it'll be helpful to get back up. And uh, the buildings on the top, they kind of extend off to the side, go up a little, and then continue onwards. So that is what we will be building today. We're going to be focusing on the center point of Flounder Heights. Let's see how well I can do this. We are using the small uh, stage with the block uh, background with the Duck Hunt Melody. Now, how far down do I want? You know, we start with the... We'll start with the uh, buildings. Let's see, we'll come down to these. Alright, so the grate, how wide should the grate be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say ten across. That seems pretty reasonable. So the, the drop, let's say the building, the doorways come in three. Let's say the doorways come in, yeah, three. So we'll drop down, see here's the bottom. Here's where we're at, so drop down to about here. Come in three, drop down. And then we're one, two, wait, did I just like completely miscount this grate up here? I think it did. One, two, three, four, five. What? One, two, three, four, five. Apparently I didn't. Anyway, let's drop down to about, let's say here. One, two, three. Okay, I guess I'm just counting weird. Come down to here. Over two, over two, up, over three, and back up. And then, let's see. It kind of continues over for a few. And then starts to curve downwards. Like that, sort of. Comes down a little bit more. That's good. Then it continues this way for a while. Bumps up, say, two blocks. And keeps going beyond that. Let's see. Here's the line. Pull over here. Bam. How far in on the green square came in two. So that's in one. Bring in one more. Drop down two. And then over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then it went one by one, four units. One, two, three, four. And then 
one over two, one over three, and then straight. Huh. For those of you wondering what kind of math I was using, I was actually using um, slope, intercept form to do my calculations there. Uh, make the great. No. All right, so it doesn't like look anything. Now, of course, the textures I have, the textures that come with Smash, don't exactly make it look a lot like the actual stage, but it does look decently close. You've got the drop down. Got the uh, curves on the way down, extended out, pulled up and outwards. We've got the two doors down here. Move over and outwards. Although, I think I should pull those doors in a little bit. So how I'm going to do that is. I'm going to zoom in. I'm actually just going to retrace with those two pieces pulled in a little more. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. 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 Bam, 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 one, there. Okay, it overlaps, it won't do it. Fine, I really don't want to erase. Ugh. You know what, that's fine. They can be a little bit inwards. Let's actually see how this does. Okay, so play one actually starts under the drop down here. There's not a whole lot of room to fight, but of course there isn't in Splatoon either. By the way, I haven't actually played Splatoon. I don't own it. I got the picture from a from the wiki site. This isn't a bad map. Let's see if I can get him to drop down here with me. Here we go. Come on. Actually, take this to a battle. First, let me save it. It's called. I wonder if this will actually fit. Let me turn my phone back on. My the picture is currently on my phone. Make sure I'm spelling this correctly. Flounder. Hi. That actually fit just barely. Founder Heights. All right, we're gonna save, and then we are going to pull this into a battle. All right, I actually put this on all level nine CPUs for this battle, and it is going to be done <laughs> Splatoon style as well as I can have it. It's going to be five minute timed. Actually, I believe Splatoon matches are third. Are they three minutes or? I don't know how long. Five minute, five minute timed. 
we have the two inkling females against two inkling males, and it looks like the females are pretty much dominating right now. By the way, none of my Mii Fighters have equipment, they just have the custom moves, and I do believe that both of these have the same custom moves. I tried to make their uh, custom moves match as close as I can to their Splatoon arsenal as much as I could. Let's see, as you can see, uh, some of the Inkling males are using their standard B, which is the uh, laser, which is the usual, you know, blaster firing. Um, you've seen some of them use the stealth uh, bomb move. That is, uh, I'm thinking kind of like the Seeker. They also, I believe their down B is also the Bomb Drop, which would be the Splat Bombs. Or no, the Burst Bomb, excuse me. Actually, uh, actually I think Burst, yeah, Burst Bombs would work. Um, their up B is the Arm Rocket, which doesn't do damage, but it does send them quite a ways, which is equivalent pretty much to the Squid Jump, where you can jump to other players on your team. And of course, the final smash, as you know, is their giant laser thing, which I believe looks pretty similar and acts pretty similar to the killer whale. I haven't actually played any Splatoon, but I've seen a lot of gameplay of it, and just from watching, killer whale is probably one of my favorite special weapons. Oh, nice down B. Uh, I do not actually have these scores um, up, so you guys can't see who's in the lead. I do believe with that kill, though, it is the red team. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is the bomb drop more like the splat bombs or the burst bombs? Because if it connects with the actual person, it's... If it connects with an opponent, it explodes automatically. But if it doesn't, it just kind of waits. So would it be more like the splat bombs or the burst bombs? Because Splat Bombs uh, take a little, take a few seconds to explode, Burst Bombs just explode automatically, as soon as they hit something. So I guess it kind of, Bomb Drop kind of has attributes of both of those. Wow, they're like fighting on the edge of the stage right now. Back air by the Indian female takes out one of the males. There goes one of the females. One of the girls is down. But everybody fighting on the edge of that is very dangerous. There was another one of the girls. Forty eight seconds left. Oh, another one of the females goes down. I think the girls have lost the lead by this point. Oh, well, there goes one of the boys. No one has dropped down, which, uh, I don't know why they would. Computers usually don't go through platforms. They don't have much strategy, they just go gung-ho, trying to kill everybody. Let's see. Who's gonna pull off the victory? We're nearing the end. we go. It looks like the boys pulled it off. They were not looking so good at the beginning of this. Let's see what the scores say. It is... Oh wow, so it ended up plus two to minus two. Not bad, not bad. The girls had the advantage to begin with. Let's see. None of my Smash Balls came out. Oh, I must have, uh, Items off. 
Oh well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video of the classic creations, be sure to show them support. Hit that like button. If you have an idea of a stage for me to build, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. This is Chris of the Next Generation. See you guys next time.